So we will start, as I say, with this one down here. The hand man often gives us a point in time where we fundamentally should be considering options and it sometimes appears when we reach a crossroad in life. Now this can be for any different things, uh, career, personal belief systems, your personal integrity values, your love life, your relationships, your finances and it will be personal depending on every situation or for each individual person. The hanged man can, when he turns up, it can also suggest that sometimes there is a stalling going on, like a time block, as if you can't make it go any faster. Now, some of you could be waiting to hear information. You could be waiting for the results on some medical tests, for instance, and they're just not coming when you want them. You could be waiting to hear about a proposition you have put to someone, whether it be a love proposition or a personal romance or a business proposition, and you're just not getting that answer. So it can sort of indicate frustration around the timing of events, but it's really important to understand that the universe in reality holds the timing, we don't. So allowing the need to control timing and just stepping back a little bit and going, okay, whatever, I'll hear when I'm meant to and when the timing is right. Now another thing, it not just regards timing, but the T intersection that the hanged man is sitting on and the illumination around his head often makes us think rethink strategies or situations or events or relationships in our life so you might get to a point where you go wow is this really what I want anymore is this actually working we've got to this stage but I can feel it's not quite what I expected or what I wanted or where we're headed so it really does start the month off with quite a major card there and it, I think it has a flow throughout the whole month for you guys it's as if you're going to really uh, ponder quite a lot that's going on around you now we come down to the next card and we see the four of wands foundation and achievements now this card is a really good card it's often about happy home environments being in a safe place feeling safe and loved and nurtured moving home for some of you and possibly moving into a new home or new relationship with people in a home. So this can be the co-joining of families or the blended family scenario. It can be sometimes attending weddings and, um, f not funerals, weddings and engagements, births and things like that. So some of you may be getting married or attending a wedding. Some of you may be purchasing a new home or wanting to shift, and that's what the whole hanged man might be saying up here. You might have been living in a property for a while and gone, wow, just not doing it anymore for us, we need to shift. And that's what this could be about, suggesting that yes, there is a happier place for you if you start looking or moving around. The Kali Ma uh, at the bottom facing fear. It says major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. So the hanged man is about spiritual uh, evolution and changing. And he has this enlightenment around his head. So in that line there, the very first line for your reading, there is a lot of powerful energy and there are a lot of powerful messages for you. So your spiritual evolution seems to be evolving. There seems to be great change coming. Possibly for some of you a little unexpected or you have reached that point, the tipping point where you just felt things were no longer being satisfied anymore. And for some of you it could be around relationships or things like your home environment. But this card is very positive anyhow. They're all positive but when we get change, especially at deep personal levels, we sometimes feel a little bit of fear and uncertainty. So if we come to the next row and we have the Page of Cups and then we have Rest and Rejuvenation, which is also similar to what the Hanged Man is doing, he takes time out, right? So he's contemplating things and the Rest and Rejuvenation card is the same. So that is the Four of Swords, the Rest and Rejuvenate. And then we have Lord Ganesh and it says here, Infinite Abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. So again, we're talking spirituality down here, and um, Mary Magdalene is sort of, she's here as a teacher as well. 
you have something important to share, follow the inner call, don't let anything stop you. So you're growing at some personal level. There's a great deal of feeling of lifting of change around you. But going back to the Page of Cups, he can often be the instigator of a proposition coming. So often they uh, deliver something, the pages. It's an offer of some sort. And this can often be an offer of love. So for some of you, this is possibly new romantic love. If it's not romantic love, it's the love of great friends or just wonderful company or companionship or even things along those lines. It's very warm and nurturing and positive and lovely. And then underneath we have the rest and the rejuvenate. Now this can sometimes refer to going away with a person on a very intimate, quiet retreat. So for a weekend or a few days into somewhere like a beautiful bush retreat into a happy home environment where the two of you may uh, spend many hours together in this wonderful entreaty of love and harmony. And in fact, if we look at this middle uh, row across here, it is all about happiness, love, foundations, um, coupling and uh, lovers and then soulmate spiritual union so it's actually quite a powerful reading at many levels and as I said at the beginning the cards are very mutable and changeable and they can be crossed over at any point in the reading to mix and match with others around them even though we're reading down the columns so that rest and rejuvenate does tell you uh, you may need to take some time out and just contemplate life a little bit at this point like the hanged man has suggested it's kind of the messages coming to you throughout the month you may feel like you need to do that more than once you may have been working too hard and you may need to revitalize your body and your cells some of you may find that you have a small operation or surgical procedure at this time as well and that you need to recuperate after that so and the other thing I said about the Four of Swords was that it could be a romantic a liaison and an actual intimacy that takes place. There's also the potentiality of a pregnancy when this card is around as well. And given that we've got this love up here, and we've also got the chalice with the uh, fish coming out of it, that's quite a, a fertile sign as well. So I think fertility is in the air, and it could be fertility of conception of a pregnancy, or even fertility of an idea coming forth. So the Lord Ganesh infinite abundance. I think a lot of people would love to hear a message like that in a reading because it does tell us that you have an abundance of positivity coming because obstacles are being moved away. So even though we started with the hanged man and we had the rest and rejuvenate, the whole rest of this over here is, is really sort of flourishing and activating and stuff is happening. When we come to this column and we see the world up here, the world again infers that we have um, been through a cycle of life of completion and we feel that we have learnt a lot on the journey and we are ready to move into a new phase, which is kind of what the hanged man has been telling you and the Kali Ma card down the bottom is saying, don't be afraid of these new phases coming for you guys. The world is quite a, a powerful card. It represents so many different things at different levels. It can represent global travel. So some of you may find yourself involved one way or another with global travel, either for pleasure or for business. It represents the possibilities of finding very good new friends in life who can become soulmates. And hello, we've got this whole thing triangle going on over here. It also represents a degree of sexual freedom because the lady in the world herself is just a small bit of drapery is covering her body. So this can represent changes in your own personal integrity values that you are growing and you are becoming more you than someone else or more you than a previous belief system or something that kept you trapped. Maybe when you were younger or when you had had a relationship that might have held you back. So there is a degree of freedom and sexuality, also again fertility in this card. So when, when I said the words to you before, you know, I said physical health, vitality, strength, body image, balance, sex, sexual pursuits, there's a lot of that actually in the reading as well. It definitely has come through. 
So the world card can represent the ending of a cycle that could have been a bad health cycle for some of you and you are now moving into a more positive phase of either understanding how to deal with ill health or finding new avenues of treating it or coming out of a debilitating time where you've had bad health. Consequently, it may have been involved with some of the surgery that, that could have been going on for you as well. Now, underneath the world, on your travels, if you are traveling, some of you may suddenly meet this amazing person who's just like a soulmate. This is the lover's card. Now, when the lover's card turns up, it can bode several meanings as well. So there's a possibility here of a very deep, beautiful, spiritual union blend. Now, this is being amplified twice. So some of you are possibly going to meet the love of your life soon. If it's not right now, it could be um, flowing to and from either side of this month or even into the next month. Uh, you know, timing-wise, it's not necessarily going to say it's right now. It could be very flowy and it could be occurring over a period of time this year. The lovers represents, yes, beautiful harmony. It also represents making choices because sometimes there is more than two people involved. This card can happen or turn up when an affair is on the cards. So some of you may be meeting someone who is already with someone else and it becomes a sort of a hidden agenda relationship. Some of you might be that person who meets someone but you're already with someone else and so you have some choices or decisions to make. Do I stay with the person I'm currently with and go with this new one or do I go back? Or if you meet this new person and they're with another person already committed, you might be saying, do I want that in my life? Yes or no. Now, another reason that that could be around you guys is over here, the uh, Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords often represents doing things hidden and under the table in covert operations and often cheating yourself out of something that, that could have been honest or going down a road where you slightly wish you hadn't. So it, it can be, um, you know, maybe, yeah, just exactly what I've said, meeting someone when you're already committed or knowing that the person you are meeting is committed themselves. That can be a scenario. Or there can be things going on here with the Seven of Swords that are involving um, business or political issues where it, the story is not being told correctly, certain parts are being hidden or are trying to be got rid of. So another thing with the Seven of Swords, I do always say be careful of your personal identity because this can be a time when people can try to uh, steal it one way or another. So just be very careful, especially online. And also be careful of new people that you do meet because it appears you Geminis uh, have the possibility to meet a lot of people in April. Um, some of them are not necessarily very worthy and they could be a little bit... Uh, dangerous actually so be cautious of who you meet you've got the potentiality to meet a lot of people in this card and in these two most of them feel okay but there are some that you need to give a wide berth to but coming back to complete this column down here with this wonderful opportunity of possible deep binding love and also possibly new businesses that are very very successful so this can be a business union if any of you are out there trying to start a business up or a partnership of some sort or a collaboration with people, it could be happening and it could be very successful. And then Mary Magdalene, the teacher awakens. You have something important to share, follow the inner call, don't let anything stop you. So for some of you, if this is like a business idea or a new invention, this could be an amazing time to actually allow this to happen. And given that Mercury is also here, um, he can be very much about communication and having things happen at quite a quick pace. With the Mary Magdalene message, it almost feels as though, you know, she's saying the teacher awakens and you have something important to share. You either have this beautiful connection of love to share with another soul or another um, possibility of, as I said, a business strategy or a, an, an invention that has come about. And for some of you, this could be quite big and it could be 
in not necessarily the health sector, but maybe in modern technology or something where you're putting a huge input into some sort of project that is going to help others be enabled one way or another. So it could be a really important time period for inventions and collaboration and projects. I'm definitely getting that message here. So we come to the final um, column here and we see the Seven of Swords and then we see the Spiritual Union and the Mercury. So I've already spoken about the Seven of Swords. The fact that it is reversed actually alleviates its intensity a little bit. So it's slightly better than having it facing the right way up. But you still have to be wary of all the things that I have mentioned. I, it's a little bit perplexing as to why it is there and then we have the Spiritual Union underneath it. Uh, there isn't anything arduous or bad about the Spiritual Union card. So possibly the only thing I can try and connect with those two is that maybe you're not being true to yourself because this can be what this card means. So maybe you're hiding from a part of yourself or you're not being true to yourself or opening up enough. And this could be around a potential Spiritual Union so this is the love card, this is the two of cups, this is harmony, the gift of support and nurturing and love and in all the positive shapes and ways. So maybe some of you have trouble accepting that or you have been damaged previously and you are, are fighting off this uh, close connection that could be around you. Like there may be an offer for you from someone and you're either frightened or hiding from it, or you've been damaged previously, or you don't quite know how to give fully of yourself, or you're too scared to. But the Spiritual Union card, it definitely allows that to actually happen um, as the connection grows and becomes much more like one. For some of you, this can be the potential for a, a soul mate, like a very close romantic soulmate, especially with all of these cards connected. And for others, there is the potential for a twin flame activation to be occurring. Now, that's a very spiritual activation, and I think we've seen a little bit of spirituality down here, and they are sort of connected. And soul flames are about teaching. So that it's a very selfless relationship, and it was all about offering out the help and support to others to bring about harmony on the planet and harmony into the human race. So it's a very selfless task and that is probably what Mary Magdalene, her whole uh, synergy can be about as well. And then we finally come down to Mercury. So he, ah yes, that makes sense now. So he is about open communication and I said here before, the Seven of Swords could be about yourself not being open not communicating enough perhaps with this potential life partner or spiritual partner that seems to be walking into your life at this point in time. So communication at the moment is very, very important for your forward growth and for uh, loving and peaceful harmony harmonies to occur and for relationships to flow forward into their next natural progression. Mercury can make things happen very quick. He's very activated. He also carries the catechus down here. So there is something here about healing health issues as well. So I have a feeling that's come for some of you. You've either had bad health or you've had operations or you, uh, have, you've been in a cycle where you're about to come into this much more positive flourish of um, good health and positive relationships and positive ideas and projects. So all round, it's quite a good reading for you guys, Gemini, because we have all this infinite abundance from Lord Ganesh as well. So Mercury, definitely about communication. Um, it's about things happening quite quickly, quite activated. It can definitely have to do with your health. There's definitely a lot in here about your physical body and body images and body appearance as well. <laughs> 